Hello YouTube, this is Shishi, and I wanted to come on here with a video. Actually, uh, it's not a hair video, it's just basically a, just, just a talking video. Now I did a video um, not too long ago where I titled my vid video Real Talk Lock Professional. Well, I'm just going to extend this and make this Real Talk Part 2. And this video is going to be about, um, there is a movie, or I should say a documentary, that is on the OWN channel, Oprah Winfrey channel, and it is titled uh, Dark Girls. So if you have not seen that documentary, um, you should watch it. Now please be aware that when you see it, it may be shocking for some, and for others it may make you angry. And for others, it may just tell you just how far we we we're, we're, we just missed the mark um, on every um, every 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 situation. So I'm going to talk about that, and I'm also going to talk about some good news at the end. I like to always um, uh, tell you about my upcoming good news. But we're going to start with it, with this video about. Uh, um, I'm going to title this video that I'm doing is is loving yourself. Now, this documentary and this video of Dark Girls, it, uh, it's a documentary uh, giving interviews uh, for different people on all parts of the world, uh, their experiences of uh, having dark skin. Some of them are not black, some of them are Asian, they have darker skin than other lighter Asians, just to give an example. So it's not just the, the black culture, cultural, there's other cultures too that they experience, um, you know, darker skin. And basically, in this documentary, um, they're saying that the fastest selling products, um, not just in the U.S., but outside of the U.S., is uh, skin bleaching creams. And some of these skin bleaching creams causes cancer. People are not doing their research, and they are basically disfiguring themselves to get lighter skin. And I just think that, that was, that's just totally unnecessary. When I saw it, I just I was really, really, really upset that people would go that far to disfigure their skin to have lighter skin. So does that make your your appearance better? I don't think it'll make it better. I think it'll make it worse. So I mean, what's the what's the point? Um, so basically, they they're saying that that's like the number one selling product, and they're getting a lot of this uh, from basically. Uh, looking at like videos and um, celebrities over here they call it the western world which means the US, US of A um, how um, you know when they do videos how they put certain types of people in their videos and how they they really um, exploit you know certain uh, skin colors and I really don't want to get into that because I think everybody's uh, culture is beautiful no matter what shade of skin you have or don't do if you do not have a shade of skin I think everybody is beautiful and I just want to say this video I, I just want to basically put my uh, two cents in it if that's what you want to call it um, I really would just want to say that when God it says in the Bible that when God made everything he made everything good now that right there should give you a perfect example he made everything good that means God created everybody and everything he made everything good. If he wanted to make everybody the same, guess what? He could have decided not to put humans on earth. He could have decided to put all animals on earth. He made all of us different for, for a reason. And what he made is good. So if he feels that we're good, we should definitely feel that we're good. And God doesn't make any mistakes. He made us good. He created us good. Now once we got created, all this nonsense that we have, this self-hatred, and stuff that we have for ourselves, we did that on our own. So, you know, and that's, it's, it's, it's pretty sad. You know, it's pretty clear from the beginning. Um, we have to love ourselves, okay? If he made it good, then we're all good. We're all beautiful, you know? And like I said, he didn't make any mistakes. So, uh, for all those people that want to bleach themselves and disfigure themselves and want to be somebody else that they're not, Look in the mirror and love yourself. Start there, loving yourself. Because you, if you love yourself, other people will love you. You don't have to have other people's opinions and, and things to make, to, to, to make you love yourself. We're supposed to be loving ourselves within anyway. It's not all about the outer appearance. It's what you feel inside. 
That's what you need to be working on, what you feel inside. Because once you start working on what's in the inside, it's going to show up on the outside. And I don't really want to start, you know, a video of fussing, so I'm going to leave it there. I'm just saying watch the movie. Um, it's very, it's, you need to just watch it. That's, that's all I have to say to those of you who have, who have not watched it. On to some good news. I'm having a sister's trip that's coming up. We're leaving Thursday. All five of us. I am so excited to be with my sisters and my niece. Um, for those of you who don't know, my older sister is in remission from lung cancer. And we're going to be in Vegas from Thursday to Monday. So I'm going to definitely do some YouTube videos. And we're going to have fun. And I'm going to share with you guys. So I just want to say that... Tell everybody to have a good night. I'm up at night trying to do this video because it was on my heart and on my mind. And I just wanted to do it uh, and just wanted to basically say love yourself. I love me some me, as they say. I love me some me. And I'm not anybody's, what anybody image. I'm not real skinny. I'm not real light. I love me some me because guess what? When I get it all together, I got it going on. So anyway, I just want to end. Talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye.